Hello everybody and welcome to a quick little update. I've realized it's far too fucking dark for this. There we go, there's some light. Here's Uncle Potsquatch coming to you. One, it's 2.04 a.m. I need to go to bed. But I wanted to make you a quick little video just to let you know what's happening, what's going on, what's happening. Um, so I uh, brought some of the stuff down to jars today. Um, I did end up finding that a lot of it wasn't quite ready. Um, you know, a lot of the times you're going to find your tops are getting crisper than your bottoms will. When you've got your branches hanging, test the smaller buds up the branch. If they're still feeling a little funky, not necessarily wet, but not quite ready, um, it's best when in doubt, wait it out. Let it let it sit a day or two. So um, we will probably have the rest of what we brought down in jars minus the plants that we cut down the other day um, in two the next two-ish days. And then um, those big plants that we cut down, those will probably be ready in about a week and a bit. And we'll put those, um, probably not in jars, but we will strip it um, and throw it into the, like, you know, a big bag of goodies, as we showed you in the last video. Um, but things upcoming. We're going to keep doing that. Um, we will be receiving our new babies very soon. And so our new babies, we are hoping to release a video on Tuesday where we will have uh, the space all cleaned up. So on Monday, maybe we'll release a video Cleaning up the space this is what you got to do. Get, you know, shit ready for the weed titties, the next round, the next babies. And then we're going to bring in uh, our new babies and going to get those going hopefully on Tuesday. Um, as well as uh, Tuesday, we will also be launching uh, our little experiment that we're doing for Mars Hydro. With their tiny little TS-1000 120 to 150 watt draw. Light. Um, again... What what are we doing this for? I mean, you know, we're going we're gonna test out this little light, and we're gonna see how much weed titties we can make with it for you. Um, and then we're actually gonna use the same setup as a as a future video once we're done doing that experiment for Mars Hydro. Uh, we will be releasing some videos. One of my very close friends, Sean, uh, and he's an incomplete quad. What does that mean? He's technically a quad. Like a, he broke his four, five, six, but. He still has control of his arms to a point um, and can kind of, you know, he can have a beer kind of and stuff. He, he played a TV, uh, a role character in our TV show pilot that we made. And so we're going to be releasing a series of trying to kind of develop a system for accessible growing for people in chairs and shit. Uh, paraplegics, it's pretty easy. Your hands work. Uh, my friend Sean's hands, they don't work as well. So we're going to try to figure that one out for him. So when we're done playing around with this little setup that uh, Mars Hydro sent us, we're going to take that one on. And uh, simply put, we're going we're gonna to see if we can help our friend Sean try to grow a plant or two for himself and you know, feel proud and independent for producing his own medicine and shit. So um, what the house is coming, lots of harsh videos, making harsh videos, lots of harsh videos, doing this, pressing harsh and thrasing. Uh, once we get those uh, plants planted, that'll start our counting timer for the vegging update videos. Uh, we'll probably plant the Mars Hydro video or like plant uh, in our little tent set up um, at the same time. So that'll be a fun thing too, because then we'll be releasing videos on the update on that uh, at the same time as our main crop. And you can really compare and contrast. Well, what happens when you take a genetic identical clone Put it in five gallon in tiny tent with a little Mars Hydro light. What happened when you take it in a five gallon? You throw it up into my laboratory with my horticultural lighting groups, Cadillac lighting systems. Um, but that will actually provide us a lot of very interesting scientific compare and contrast. You know, that's going to help some stuff too for us to help really help to evaluate uh, the two sort of setups there. So that's coming. Um, don't forget tomorrow's uh, late night, Sunday night uh, live stream show. We always do that every Sunday night, no matter how tired or exhausted or fucked up we are. We're going to do it regardless and uh, keep it party rocking. So everybody tune in for that. Um, that will air roughly, give or take, midnight my time tomorrow. Might be a little earlier, might be a little later. We'll see how tomorrow at work goes at the pub. But uh, tune in roughly, give or take, midnight tomorrow night uh, for that. So the Sunday night live show, it's going to be a good time. 
Uh, Monday, we'll release a video of cleaning stuff up maybe and letting you know how that's going, getting it ready for the hopeful delivery on the Tuesday, if we're lucky, of the babies for those to be the next gen run. So anyway, my friends, I don't think there's the cats having a moment. He's got a hair tie. He likes to walk around. That's very nice. You have a hair tie, doctor. I'm proud of you. Um, you want to say hi, Mogwai? You want to say hi to the internet? There's a little... How do I turn this around? Can I turn it around? I don't think so. Nope. Don't think I can. Well, that's too bad. What have showed you, Mogwai. He was ready to say hi, but now he's walking away. But anyway, my friends, this has just been a little update video. Want to let you know what's coming, you know, what we're going to be going with and uh, keeping it sexy. Um, it's now 2.10 a.m. I'm just having a PBR, as I do. Maybe have a toke. Maybe listen to some jamming music. This pot's watch going to have a shower, and we're going to pass the fuck up because we got shit to do tomorrow, you know? <laughs> the struggle's real, my friends. You know, real life, uh, first world problems because it's true. That's one thing, though. It's like everyone thinks that's a bad joke. I like that joke because it's true, man. You know, like I'm lucky enough to live where I live. And, you know, as much that's not to minimize how life hard, how hard life is here. At least, you know, there's something that that helps me keep me going on the days where I can. But my friends, this is Uncle Pot Squatch Sam. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for continuing to like and subscribe. And those haters out there, yeah, you keep hating. It doesn't bother me none. Because if you don't piss anyone off or, you know, have no haters, well, you're doing something wrong. So simply put, my friends, I love you. You fucking sexy pot squatch growers on me. I fucking love you. You're fucking awesome, all of you. Um, Lily Squatch, don't you worry. We're going to make that uh, uh, T-shirt, or not T-shirt, a little hoodie for you. Hashtag Lily Squatch. It's going to have all the logos, all the normal hashtags, and it's going to have a hashtag Lily Squatch on it, too. I'm going to send that out to you, and it's going to keep you nice and warm. If for those who don't know, Lily Squatch is, I don't, how old is Lily? Is she like six or seven? I don't know. My boy, Phil, Phil go for what, 20 over in England there, man. His, his daughter made me a bunch of pictures. And like they sent me an email with pictures of all the pictures she drew for Uncle Pot Squatch. And it was fucking awesome. And so cute. And just after my friend shared a bit about, you know, little Lily's life, we're going to be releasing a video. We'll make a video out of that too. You know, we'll, when we get that little, Sweatshirt to get her for, you know what I'm saying? She might be the youngest pot squatch uh, in the army. <laughs> and we'll send that out to little Lily. But anyway, everybody, I'm just rambling now. Oh, fuck it, let's be honest, I'm rambling in all my videos, but it's fun, it's just me. Um, I'm gonna go. So don't be afraid to take risks. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Don't be afraid to say, fuck it. Don't be afraid to say, no, this is not right. But remember to love the people around you. Those that you know and those that you do not know. That's part of the Pot Squatch Growers Army, man. It's like we stand together. Even if you're not even a Pot Squatch yet. It's a human fucking movement. It's not just we titties. It's humanity where we titties. Pot Squatch, peace out. Love you all very much. Goodbye.